Hey guys, today I'm going to show you what I've been loving in February. This month went by so fast, it literally feels... It feels like I filmed my January favorites about a week ago. I feel like I didn't even buy anything new this... I bought a couple new things, but most of the stuff is stuff that I've tried before that I've just kind of rediscovered this month or started liking more than usual, but there's a couple new things, so anyways. Well, let's get into it. I have a lot of hair favorites, so I'm gonna do that first. First thing is this brush. This is by Conair, and it's. I wish I still had the tag for it so I could tell you guys exactly what it is, but it's an anti static hairbrush. So I actually got this last month, but I didn't realize how great it was until I switched back to my old hairbrush just randomly one day, and my hair started crackling, and I was like, what is happening right now? So that's when I realized that this brush is actually really good at keeping static out of your hair and in the winter that's always a big concern so definitely recommend this. The next thing is actually kind of the same situation where something that I already had tried something else and realized the first thing was better. <laughs> so that is Argan Oil. Uh, this is by the brand Hollywood Beauty. And I think that you can only get this at like beauty supply stores because I've looked for it at like Walmart and other stores and they just don't have it. So this stuff, first of all, smells so good. It's kind of a fruity smell. I use this before I flat iron my hair, kind of like a heat protectant, but it's not really meant to be a heat protectant. It's, what, what do they say? Provides intense conditioning and it's also good for split ends as well but I think it just adds a lot of softness to my hair and the reason I use it as a heat protectant is because the oil kind of magnifies the flat ironing power of the flat iron but it also does kind of keep my hair like soft and from drying out at the ends and it also absorbs really well at least in my hair I do have very dry hair so if you have very oily hair, then maybe you don't need this. But if you have dry hair, I would definitely recommend it. I don't want to say that at the end of everything. Like, I recommend all these things because obviously I like them, but <laughs> yeah. All right, next thing is dry shampoo. Definitely been using this a lot this month. This is the Tresemme Fresh Start Basic Care Dry Shampoo. And I've tried the original one of this that was like the foam texture, or texture, it was like a foam and this one is like the new formula I'm sure it's not actually new so now instead of the foam it's an aerosol and I love this so much more than the foam one like I'm sure the ingredients are the same but for some reason the fact that it's a spray just makes my hair feel a lot cleaner than the foam one did and I feel like it's a lot easier to kind of get directly into your roots and you don't have to like massage it in or anything you can really just like spray it and then brush it through the next thing is actually something that I thought would be a favorite but alas I haven't even opened it yet I literally bought this two months ago this is bedhead curly pops it's one and a quarter inch curling wand I thought that this was gonna be a favorite last month I thought it was gonna be a favorite this month and I still haven't opened it yet I don't know why really, I just, I this is the first curling wand I've ever had, so I was just kind of nervous that I would not be good at curling my own hair. Like I definitely like the way it looks when it's curled, but I was like, if I mess it up then I'm going to be so annoyed. I don't know. I keep feeling like I'm waiting for the right moment and the right moment just never comes up. But if any of you guys have tried this, then please let me know what you thought because if it's not good, I'm going to return it for sure because I haven't even opened it yet and I don't know if I'm going to at this point, but I still have the receipt, so I'll let me know. Alright, that's all my hair favorites, so let's move on to food. First thing is jasmine rice. I've literally been obsessed. This is the minute ready to serve jasmine rice. Thai white rice. So I'll show you guys. It's like a little... It comes in a little cup, it's like a little Easy Mac thing, and you just stick it in the oven for a minute. I don't even think... Yeah, you literally don't even have to put water in it, so it's easier than Easy Mac. 
and it is so good like I really don't even like rice but for some reason the jasmine rice is just different like it's kind of a different texture than regular rice so even if you don't like rice I would still say try it it's, it's really good and I've been eating it with Thai basil sauce yeah, this is Kroger Thai style basil stir fry sauce super super good Thai basil is one of my favorite things and it's if you never had Thai basil it's different than regular basil I guess it's like a different variety of basil I don't know what to call it exactly it's I wouldn't say it's spicy it does have a little bit of a kick to it but I have absolutely been loving this sauce is always gonna be in my monthly favorites just I love sauce there's there's always gonna be a sauce in here <laughs> if you don't have a Kroger near you then I don't know if you can find this in other brands I'm sure you could but I this is the first time that I've seen something like this so yeah really good. Ooh, I've also been loving roasted potatoes. I wish I had like a plate of roasted potatoes to hold up. Unfortunately I do not. I do not make any today. I dice them up, stick them in the oven at 425 for like 40-ish minutes. It's really good. Oh, and season them. Can't forget that. I've been seasoning them with onion powder. Onion powder, not onion powder. Onion soup mix, that's what it is. Onion soup mix and parmesan. Try it. Oh, let's move on. Next thing, it's not a food, but food related, is this food scale. So this is by Amazon Basics. So obviously you can get it on Amazon. And personally, I don't care how much I eat, but my boyfriend does, is because he uses like not my fitness pal, but something similar where he like tracks how much he eats. So this is way easier than trying to like measure everything in like a measuring cup or a measuring spoon, especially if it's something like meat. Like you can just slap it on there and it tells you exactly how much it is. But even for like, you know, even for stuff where you could just use a measuring cup, like it's a lot faster because you don't have like an extra thing to wash or like an extra step when you're cooking. You can just like put it right on there and do things like as you're putting the ingredients together. Next thing is super, super random, but cleaning dowels. This is by the brand My Home, and they're just microfiber cleaning towels. So it cleans wet or dry. The reason that this is still in the little wrapper thing is because I actually bought six of these. Well, I bought three of these, but there's two in each one. So the reason I got this is just because I noticed that in the kitchen I use a ton of paper towels every day. First of all, it's just wasteful, and second of all, paper towels are expensive, so I was like, I really need something that's reusable, so I tried these, and because they're microfiber, they actually kind of cling to the things you're trying to pick up a lot better. Like if there's crumbs or dust, like paper towels, a lot of time will just spread the dust around unless you're actually using dust spray, so these are definitely better for dust or crumbs than paper towels are just because of like the texture and they're also super soft so that's nice too but yeah I try these just by themselves if it's like a spill or if I'm like actually cleaning something with like surface spray and it seems to work pretty well with both ways the only thing I would say is to wash them before you use them for the first time which is probably obvious for a lot of people but for me I was lazy and so I didn't but they do kind of leave little like bits of fluff but once you wash them that kind of takes care of itself <laughs> one last thing i want to talk about i actually forgot this is the second time filming this video because the first time there was like a little smudge on the camera and it was, just looked like there was like a little highlighted circle right here like i was trying to show you something but no. it is a rock my run app so i've been going to the gym I mean, not more than usual lately, but I've been enjoying the gym more than usual lately because of this app, because I realized that, okay, I guess I should explain what it is. <laughs> Let's say I want to go 160 strides per minute on the elliptical, I just pick from one of these mixes that's 160 beats per minute, and then I don't even have to like look down at the elliptical, I can just listen to the music and just move to the beat, and that sounds stupid, but it makes the workout so much more fun. Like, I just pretend that like... I'm in like a Zumba class or something. I should take a Zumba class. I don't know why I haven't yet because they have them at my gym for free. But 
it's just an awkward time so I'm like Ugh. thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like it if you liked it and comment down below and tell me some of your favorite things this month bye guys Don't forget to subscribe. That means you. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you so much.